Hi guys, welcome back to another West Ham vlog. I'm here at the London Stadium in sunny London. Now I've got my programme with me, West Ham against Man United. Um, I hope, I hope for a, a win against Man United. I mean, we won, we beat Dynamo Zagreb in the Europa League 2 0. So I hope we can continue that form. So see you inside and come in your eyes. Yesterday, West Ham played Man United in a, a, what I would call eventful game of football. Um, I mean, we, we fielded out with literally no striker whatsoever because our only senior striker is suspended. I mean, I mean we, were, we, we were lucky to have him on Thursday. Because he scored against Dinamo Zagreb, which we won 2 0. Which was a good game in itself. I mean, we we, domin we dominated that much for basically the whole game. But we're not on about that match, we're on about West Ham Man United, aren't we? But yeah, I mean, Man United got off to a good start. I mean, literally. Mason Greenwood looked very, very dangerous. Mason Greenwood, until he got subbed off, was him and Ronaldo were probably the most dangerous players. Mason Greenwood is probably one of the most. Is probably one of the best teenagers in the world, or in or in the Premier League. I won't say the world because. I haven't seen many others, apart from like Pedri, and that's about it. But yeah, de de definitely, probably top two or three in the Prem, under like under twenty one players or something, or however old he is, it's like twenty, isn't he? Yeah, I'd say under twenty one players, top three, definitely. He's he's just out. He's he's very he's good to watch. He's just he's just a bit of a joy. But yeah, I mean, he, him and Ronaldo had a few chances. Fabianski pulled off sort of a few very, very good saves from Ronaldo. Uh, but we, West Ham, surprisingly, took the lead because we, we dominated for about half of the first half. Like The first half was literally... Well, both halves was a bit split in possession. Like the first half, Man United dominated for like 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. Then West Ham dominated for 20, 25 minutes. Then in the second half, 
West Ham dominated for about 20-25 minutes and then Man United literally dominated the end of the game. Like heavily dominated. But yeah, we we took the lead with uh, Ben Rama who's growing in confidence literally every game. Probably because Moyes is starting to trust him now and because he and because literally we have no striker as well. So him and Bowen went up front. I think that's what happened. So either him and Bowen went up front or Bowen just went up front on his own. But yeah, I mean, Ben Rama got the ball played out to him like about around 25 yards out. He took a touch, tried to tried to curl it, far post, or far post for him, anyway. Uh, it took a, it took a massive deflection off Varan. In and he just dribbled past De Gea, who I mean, De Gea had a bit of a quiet game. Well, not really a bit of a quiet. I mean, we didn't have many shots, but we got in their box often. But Harry Maguire literally just Harry Maguire and Varane are good centre backs. Right, Maguire is good in the air, so is Varane, but Varane's better. With the ball at his feet and in like in a foot race, but yeah, Luke, Luke Shaw was very was very good as well for Man United. I'm praising Man United a lot. But that's probably because I'm trying to be unbiased as much as possible as well. But yeah, we we took the lead for Ben Rama, and then literally probably about five minutes after. Ever, ever since we scored, well, after, throughout, after we scored for the next like 20 minutes, Man United dominated. Like, they were putting press after press. Like, we, we were just defending as much as possible, pretty much. And then, well, not really. Actually, no. They they scored, and then we dominated a bit more. Yeah, I mean, Ronaldo, I mean, Ronaldo got the ball played through to him. It, it was probably one of one of the closest off on uh, one of the closest offside calls. I mean, it wasn't offside, but still, it was probably one of the closest this season so far. Like his shoulder was just about in line with Creswell, who, I mean, instead of getting in front of him, just. Stood behind him and just, I don't really know what happened to be honest. But Ronaldo basically shot first time, which was a good shot anyway, but it was straight at Fabianski. Fabianski was unlucky not to hold on to it, parried it out literally straight to Ronaldo, who anticipated really well and basically just slotted it past Fabianski. I mean, it was, it was good reactions from Ronaldo, seeing as he's then. But then again, he is one. Of, he is basically the best player in the world. Well, it's controversial, but in my opinion, he is. But yeah, I mean, he he didn't do his normal celebration, like the Sioux celebration. He just picked the ball up and went to the centre circle. Classic Sunday league. But yeah, I mean, that's how it went into half time. Which is what it was. It was one one for for a lot of the game, like up until up until oh, I don't want to, up until Lingard scored. It was one one. Oh, of course, it was one one until Lingard scored. One one. But yeah, I mean, we managed we managed to do well to keep it a one all for a majority of the game. Um. Yeah. Ronaldo. Ronaldo didn't do as well as I thought he would, but he made, he made a few good he made good runs, uh, did a few step overs and then passed it sideways. Uh, I, I remember this one time he Zuma went out to track him. No, yeah, Zuma went out to pressure him. Ronaldo stopped at the ball, did about seventy four step overs and then just passed it to Luke Shaw, and then nothing else happened after that. I think we got a goal kick or something. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, he did a few, he did a few step overs. Well, by few, I mean a lot. But yeah, but apart from that, he, he got he got through one on one about uh, quite a lot. Fabianski, Fabianski and Zuma are probably the two best players for us. Like Fabianski pulled off amazing saves to stop Ronaldo. Zuma pulled off amazing clearances, winning everything in the air, winning everything in the air, basically stopping Ronaldo the whole game. But yeah, I mean, Zuma has been in the two games he's played so far, he's been immense. But yeah, so that's literally how it was until Lingard came on for Fred, I think. No, Lingard came on for McTominay, and he received literally a standing ovation from. I'm pretty sure everyone in the crowd, like, er, like when I say everyone, I mean everyone, like, e even the Man United fans that live two minutes away from the stadium, they clapped him. But yeah, I mean, it was just it was just good to see Lingard playing for, for Man United because uh, it was just good to see him play after his like era of not playing or whatever. But yeah, I mean, he he's he was probably one of their best players when he came on as well. Like, made good runs, got into space, scored. His goal was probably the best goal of the game. Like, he got the ball out on the left, cut inside, and then literally tried to do what Ben Rama did and did it. Curled it far post. Uh. Respect for him for not celebrating. I mean, he did get pushed to celebrate by like Ronaldo and Bruno, but yeah, respect for him. Uh, he yeah, respect for his brother as well for respecting West Ham fans. I think it's his brother. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it's just a bit of a joy to watch him. But yeah, I mean, and then we he got a penalty. The second, I think, second best penalty taker in the world in the last 20 years came on and missed. Wait, I mean, that's literally the second time it's happened to me in the space of what, like two months? First it was England, now it's West Ham. The thing is, with England, two people came on and missed, but still. And for England, it was to win a trophy. This is a league game against a good Man United team, probably one of the best Man United teams since Ferguson retired. But yeah, I mean, it was, it was just a bit of an entertaining game, that's about it. I mean, the referee was awful for both teams. I mean, we should have had another penalty, they should have had a penalty. I was going to say two, but then I remember I saw a video of Zuma's tackle on Ronaldo, and Ronaldo was already going down. But still, yeah, I mean, it was, the referee was a bit awful. VAR was a bit off as well. But, the, I mean, the referee just can't see anything. But that's pretty much all I have to say about the United game. Uh, we, we play them again in the cup in, what, like, two days? two, three days. So we'll have Antonio back for that one, which is good. But yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.